Why do All right. ID, but you purchase in a vehicle? See, she's asking for the ID because in this particular case, she needs a copy of that physical fake ID. Once she gets that, it's over. How's it going, guys? That's right. Joel Pallet, Credit Crusader. I'm back with another video. We're going back to the landmark car dealership in Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, and Sergeant Scam Slammer, that same cop that tased the guy from the last video, is on the scene, and you guys are gonna see what happens. Now, before I get into this, you know what I gotta say. This video is for entertainment slash education purposes only. I do not condone fraud. And also, in my CPN cars workshop, I specifically say, do not use fake IDs. I also specifically say, do not go anywhere in Atlanta, Georgia. So clearly, these people didn't buy the workshop. I hope you guys don't make the same mistake. So let's roll it. If I can get this video to work. On October 18th, 2022, Chambly police officers responded to a call from Landmark Atlanta dealership regarding a suspicious couple attempting is. to purchase a vehicle using fraudulent ID. Sergeant Scam Additionally, Slammer. they insisted that they had only met each other the day before and denied any knowledge of the fraudulent activity. Recognizing the seriousness of the situation, the officers detained the couple and proceeded to handcuff them for further investigation. They're making sure that they can't go out the back door. They're like, oh, yeah, make sure that's because they remembered what happened last time. <laughs> They're like, yeah, sure. block all exits. Let me get the volume up. All right. See, she's asking for the ID because in this particular case, she needs a copy of that physical fake ID. Once she gets that, it's over. They have the physical evidence. It, you're, you're done. They're done. Now, until then, it can be, oh, well, he said, she said, you know what I mean? I didn't do that. No evidence. That physical ID, she's right now on the hunt for it. I don't have an ID. You have your ID on you, sir? Don't stand up for me. For me? She okay. wants ID. She wants to get have them stand up, probably, so they, they don't hide something. Uh, I want your purse. I want your purse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I get it. Right now, she's probably, her mind and heart are racing, thinking, okay, how the hell can I talk my way out of this? Like, what am I going to do? Because she knows she's in deep shit. You got your ID on you, buddy? No, I got a picture, though. Okay. You got no type of ID on you? I don't. See, she's saying she doesn't have the ID because she's hoping that they just say, okay, well, they don't have it. Okay. Oh, that's not going to happen. Sergeant Scam Slammer knows better, so she puts him in cuffs. Now, just so you guys know, at this point, if I was in this situation, I wouldn't be because I'd never try this shit. But if I was in this situation, I would say, all right, it's lawyer time. I want a lawyer. And then you shut the hell up. You don't say a word after this. They don't follow their rights. I guess they don't know their rights. But just saying. Mm -hmm. If you ever get put in cuffs, don't talk. Everything can and will be used against you in a court of law. And now the hunt begins. Where is the ID? Is. The ID that was presented. The ID that was presented does not come back to you. Now, just so you guys know, when people make CPNs and their public records are not done or they're using somebody else's identity, like uh, they're trying to make new shortcuts by using, like looking somebody up and using somebody else's identity. Yeah, it's a way you could have your public records would be instantly built out because you'd have the the real person's, I, all their information would be there and there'd be a history of it. The only problem with that is, is situations like this, is if it comes back as someone who is not you, you go to jail. You should never do that. You should never use somebody else's identity when doing a CPN. You're asking for trouble if you do that. I'm just saying. Now she's looking for the ID. She's like, you knew that. Hmm? 
but don't let me go down for you, buddy. Like, what the hell? How do you know her? I just met her. The suspense huh? builds. You just met her and you gave her a ride up here. She's hoping they don't go through her shit. I mean, he doesn't know me. He just met me. Now they're saying they don't know each other. Probably she's probably trying to cover for his ass because as of right now he didn't do anything wrong. If he just says I don't know anything, anything the wiser, then he won't get in trouble. It'll all be on her. Last night. Okay. And we can go. If we can go, we can go. She's like, if we if we're gonna go, we can go. She's basically just like, all right, yeah, let's go to let's go to jail. You know, okay, she's you accepting her fate. Wherever we're gonna go from here. Okay. She, well, I guess what she wants to do is have she wants them to not find the ID until they get to jail because then I guess, you know, it would help her later on down the road. Still haven't found the ID. Sergeant Scam Slammer is not... He's not going to stop, though, as you guys can see. I think that's probably all the documents she needed in order to get the car. Probably fake. Do not use fake documents when trying to get things. You don't need you to. No, sir. I was, I was trying to see if I had a picture. Probably pay stubs, utility yeah. bills, all that kind of stuff. 94. Me and Tim. How old are you, Mr. Johnson? Huh? How old are you? 28. 28. And now they keep asking this guy questions because they're trying to trip him up to see if he lies. They keep asking him the same question to see if it ever changes. They do that shit. You got a Georgia ID? Yes, sir. Well, Where is it? Well, Where's the ID? Tara Jones. Just so you know, she makes a ton of fatal mistakes. We're going to go over them. Sean Boom, she's finding them. Sean See how she's calling out the different names? All those IDs have her picture on it. So she brought all those fake IDs in with her. I don't know why. I mean, what's she going to do? Try to buy 20 cars, <laughs> all different IDs at the same dealership? I mean... Me and Sabrina. Wait, wow. all different names. Damn. Look at all those IDs. See, that is not the way you do this, folks. Now they know. I mean, they got her. She's done. I'm pretty sure every different ID that she has, those are different counts. That's in that red bag is pretty much a treasure trove of evidence. I'm just gonna let you guys know she brought a treasure trove of evidence with her when she went to buy this car. I mean, what is up with this dealership? Is it like, I mean, <laughs> open season here? I mean, that's that's balls. So tell us what you mean her last night. So now they're trying to now they know they got her now it's all right this guy how do we get this guy how do we tie him to all of this it's going to be hard for them to tie him to it but that's what they're trying to do right now they already know they got her no you got a georgia id uh i do but i keep asking the same shit we're gonna do you gonna do spell your first name so Christopher, Christopher. Trying to get him to Christopher either Chris. submit a fake Johnson, ID to them, Johnson. they'll have, or fake information. What's your middle name? I don't have one. You don't have a middle name? No, sir. I just don't have Okay. What's your date See, of birth? See, he, he should not be saying a damn thing right now. It's like, shut up. Just don't, just don't talk. You know we're going to find out your name. Right? June 8th? Uh, you told me the 12th. Because he, the 12th. he, right now, he does, they really don't have anything on him. Shut up. No middle name. Try Christopher for the first name. Date of birth, June 8th. Night. They either run it like they're taking a shit. Just don't talk. I don't know if you ever saw the video where Meet Kevin, the other YouTuber, where he gets arrested. He doesn't say shit. Like he won't. He he, he just stops talking. He's just like, all right, and then that's it. He doesn't talk. He just shakes his head. Nope. He doesn't answer anything the cops say. Which, you, by law, you have the right to remain odd. silent. Go buy a car the next day after you meet her. Yes, you got money. So I ain't that Now you guys are gonna see when they go over to the car. It's like a freaking treasure trove of 
more evidence. I don't know what the hell this lady was planning on doing. Like, why she would need all those different IDs and all those different CPNs, I have no idea. I mean, would she just get the cars and then chop them up? I <laughs> mean... All right, what no more gatekeeping. This? Let me show you God, the these best ads, infused the gummies that I have ever had. CBD shit? All right, yeah, get rid of that. I can't stand those commercials. It's like fake weed, and they try to sell it like, like that's a thing. I, I would never do that crap. What club do you want me to? See, right now, they, they don't know, cool so. Cool. He'd probably just go to the jail. They'd have to release him if he, if he shuts his mouth. Get the all there. A thorough search of the vehicle ensued, leading to the discovery of additional fake IDs and social security cards. Don't ever do this, guys. She's she's probably in worse trouble than the guy that got tased because of all these different IDs. Those are all different counts. Every single one of those IDs is a different count. Now they're in the car. Oh. They're finding more IDs. Was she just going to go to every single car dealership in Atlanta? I mean, she clearly is not a viewer of my channel. Because this is something I specifically tell you guys not to do. Now they're checking all the IDs. The, see, the, one of the biggest problems is that she was using IDs. She was taking people's information and putting her uh, making a fake ID with her picture on it. But they were real Boy, people. You should realize, look. Same you, picture. You can't do that. Yeah, no, George one came back to some white lady. Oh, that came back to some white lady? Yep. And the New York is, uh, we can't see the ID photo for the New York one, can we? Probably not. I bet she got these IDs from China. Yeah. I'll bet my life on it. Came back 29 negative, but see, she's got the cards and the IDs. She's about to be sitting in a slammer for a while. See? She comes back to a black male. Black male. <laughs> this is a black male. Miss uh, Linia Manema. Probably one of her victims. <laughs> and what about Miss uh, Oh, she was about Shauna Winder. Look at that, all those different names. That comes back to the same black male. <laughs> same black same, male. Same old land, different name and everything on it. Same black male? Is a young looking black male? Yeah. Like how can, how, can, how can two names come back as the same so. guy? Are they throwing the number in? Exactly. Yep, Kevin Kenny. That's what that is. He's in deep shit. That was like five probation parole things for different names but not 100 percent no there was there wasn't the one to those names they didn't have olins they just had ssn's fbi numbers and they stuff. now face charges of identity fraud possession of forged id documents forgery of a financial transaction yeah. card forgery in the see look they look uh, identity fraud possession of forged id documents that is a crime do not do that forgery of financial transaction card that's the fake SSN number. Don't do not make fake social security cards, forging the first degree and other related defenses. I mean, it, she's actually like I said, first she's degree and other related defenses. Than the guy who got tased and tried to run because she's got all those different ideas. This guy, on the other hand, he's right like, now. they really don't have anything on him. I doubt he even gets in trouble. Right now, it's looking like conspiracy because you're with her. We don't, we can't prove that you're not completely involved See? in what she's doing today. If we can prove that, then you'll be all right. But, yeah, that's the thing they can't you're prove. You're with it. her. So, we can't prove so shut up. that you're involved hey, in the fraud she's trying to do. Don't talk to him, buddy. That don't mean nothing. People lie to the police all the time, man. Yep. We well, as you guys can see, it happens. So if, uh, the lesson that can be learned from this is do not use fake documents. Do not use I, identities of people that aren't you. That's not the way you do this. That is how you go to jail. So I just want to let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.